Hello friends in Christ Jesus. My name is Hosanna David. I want to quickly share with us a word of reminder about the return of Jesus Christ. For some time now, I've been studying the book of Daniel and looking at the prophecies. I've been using the text study Bible, the text Bible is what I've been using. And one good thing about this Bible, uh, though I don't agree about every commentary there, but uh, one good thing about this Bible is that it has a lot of expositions, it exposes things and explains a lot of things, especially history. And while I was studying the book of Daniel, I see the prophecies, it is just an outline about how the world is going to run, uh, especially even the book uh, in verse, in chapter 11, the kings of the south, the north, different kings, how they will come into power and how they are going to live and the end time prophecies and going to the first verses, first few verses of chapter 12. In fact, it is mind blowing. The word I want to share with us today without going into much details is that if everything spoken of by Daniel, kings, even uh, daughters given in marriage from exchanging, uh, given a daughter in marriage to another king, another kingdom, if everything came to pass, if everything is coming to pass before our very eyes, why do you believe that Jesus Christ is still very much far away and that seeing the signs of his return according to the Bible, seeing the signs everywhere, what do you, why do you think that you can still justify your doubts, your argument that the Lord is not returning very soon? Why do you believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is not going to judge humans according to everything that they have done? There is judgment and the judgment is coming very, very soon. If I today, while the Lord was speaking to me, he told me that man is five feet from death. Uh, is it from death or from the grave? And death is the end of all activities. Death, uh, I don't know if I can just pick it. I, I don't really want to misquote what the Lord told me. Sorry, I, I just had to get it so that I don't misquote what the Lord told me. Okay, here's, here's it, what the Lord told me. He said, this is not actually what I'm talking about today, but I just have to. I'm led to make reference to this. The Lord said, man is five feet away from death. Death is the end of all pride and rebellion. I have spoken. This is what the Lord told me this morning while I was documenting a, a revelation that he gave me about pedophilia. People sleeping with children, minors. And the Lord was, uh, as I was documenting this, the Lord gave me this revelation again. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to post that revelation on this channel. If you, uh, if you can subscribe to uh, Biblical Sexual Purity channel, that is where I post sex-related issues there. Uh, human sexuality is what I post there. Or you can visit my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com. I have two websites, igwayopuna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. You can go there and see some of the revelations that the Lord has given to me. I'm going to, whenever I, I share that video on BS Purity TV, that is Biblical Sexual Purity channel, I am going to put the link in the description box of this video. In fact, I'm going to put the link of that channel here. You can subscribe. Everything is coming to pass. Everything is coming to pass. And we are being deceived by 
many of these mega churches, pastors, who our attention have been drawn away from the return of the Lord. If these things came to pass, all these prophecies came to pass, I tell you that no word from the mouth of the Lord is going to fall to the ground. Everything will come to pass. Heaven and earth will pass away. But no smallest letter of God's word will pass away. Everything will come to pass. Jesus said it was written, written that Jesus will come. He came. Through a virgin, the seed of the woman, according to Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, he came. He's going to return again in a rapture and pick us, all those who are clean. He will pick them to himself as he has rightly promised and we will be changed within the twinkle of an eye. And then he's going to come back the second time to harvest. Please repent. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Igwa Yopuna, and share this message. Once again, I am Hosanna David. Thank you for listening. If you love the truth, share this message and preach the word of God. Don't be tired. We have a place. Our place is heaven. Forget about the, the persecution of our government. Forget about the satanism in our society. Forget about the unfaithfulness and the satanism in many of our churches today. Focus on Jesus Christ. We will soon leave. Let me tell you one thing. You will either live before me or I will live before you. But one truth remains that we will all live one after the other. As I am talking now, I tell you the truth. Somebody is leaving this world now, going to face judgment. Please be ready. The day of death is more important than the day of birth. The end of a thing is more important than its beginning. God bless you. Bye.